Jimmy? It's an iPad 2. I know that. It is. And you know what? We're not the only ones with a new app. PreSonus Studio Live Remote, Remote. which is a good idea. Um, Studio Live, we like it. In fact, we've got one lurking around somewhere. We do. We do. There's a 16 and a 24 channel version. This works with either. Um, Getting this up and running is alarmingly simple, actually. Um, you do need you do need a couple of other bits. You need a computer of some kind, Mac or PC, running a universal control, which is a PreSonus product. Um, that's a free download off their website. And you need a wireless access point of some description. And pretty much as long as everything's got an IP address, um, it's all going to work. The, the console doesn't have an IP port, but it links via FireWire into the laptop, which does. And uh, yeah, then you fire it up and um, start mixing. Okay, so the laptop sits there as the Wi-Fi um, interface yep. with the PreSonus desk, yep. um, which looks like this, and you mix. Um, the, now, the PreSonus Studio Live mm -hmm. is um, the most differentest digital desk there is because its faders don't fly. Exactly, its faders stay where you leave them. Mm. Um, so that does beg the question then, what happens what when happens you come, along, when you come and along and do this? Do this yeah, what, what do the faders happen? do? The faders do nothing at all. Yes. Um, you have to push the locate button on the console, which then shows you on the lead ramps where oh, the faders need to be. In the move, same so. way. That so it's kind, of like an old, it's kind of like an old AVAB lighting desk. You need to go and pick up the fader from mm. its new location. Um, but yeah, this, it, you've got multiple views on this thing. You can go into portrait mode, and that gives you an individual channel view, and you yep. can, you can nice. go through and choose your channels based on there, and from there you can, you can mix auxiliaries off each channel. Yeah. Or you can go into landscape, you get this nice overview sort of screen, and that shows you what each of your channels is doing. You can pan. You can fade. And the other nice thing about this is that when you grab a fader, you don't have to be really precise. Um, you can grab anywhere in that fader track, and then the fader will move relative to your finger. But it's not going to jump. You, you've, you've still got to go over to the desk and move the fader, yeah? Yeah, look, I mean, if you, if you, if you plan on going back there. Um, but what about the auxiliaries? The auxiliaries, don't, you don't have that. The auxiliary mixer, it looks, you choose which auxiliary you want, and then you mix. And, and it looks exactly like it does on the desk, which you do it with the encoders and they appear on the lead ramps above the channels. So but do you have to turn the encoder on the desk? No. Ah. No. So, the obvious logical use for this is stage monitors. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you really wanted to get super clever about it, what you could do is on the desk, set up one of your auxiliaries as a stereo, yeah. and then you could use the auxiliary as your main output. Yeah. Kind of a weird way of doing it, but hey. Um, graphics, you've got as many assignable graphic EQs as you do on the console, and you can choose what you want to insert those on. Yep. Um, they start out a bit narrow, but you can you can widen these out, make it nice and easy to grab nice. individual faders, yep. scroll along, and so on. Um, there's a whole lot of different ways to drive this thing. Mm. And, and the price, and the price is right. As, well, yeah, we'll get to that in a second, mm. but just uh, I want to spend a moment more on this, because as far as usability, this is probably one of the best iPad apps we've seen. Um, in terms of its simplicity, its ability to be understood. Yes, stage monitors, this would be excellent because you can set up your console and everything, then potter about on the stage, setting up each send individually, and you can actually be standing there listening to the thing, turning it up, EQing it, whatever. Um, pricing, yes, the price is absolutely right. Um, the price is that it's free. I like that word. Yeah, and, and you know the other really cool thing is that it's free. Um, not just for anyone who buys the console from now on, but if you've already bought one a year ago, you can use this. It'll still work. And it's free. Yeah. And, and it's great functionality. And this is something that traditionally we've only seen on consoles from sort of about the, the $15,000 mark upwards. And the PreSonus desk is under like four grand yeah. for the, the 16 or something. Mm. So yeah, it, it's, it's a really nice little sort of bonus thing for anyone who's already got the desk. Bring it on. PreSonus Studio Live Remote for iPad.